Hey guys, it's Dan and let's learn how to do the German hang to improve your shoulder flexibility and prepare for the back lever. German hang puts tremendous pressure on your shoulders and elbows, so be sure to progress slowly. I cannot emphasize this enough. You can perform it on either rings or on a bar. Make sure you start with chin up grip, not pull up grip. The reason your arms need to face the floor is to prepare your elbow joints to perform more difficult skills. First, grab rings with palms facing the floor and get on your knees. As you get more comfortable with this position, put your knees further behind you to increase the intensity. And eventually, you can extend your legs all the way behind. Lastly, if you arch your body like so, you will feel more stretch on your shoulders. Here's a good drill to improve your shoulder flexibility. Without bending your arms, try to imitate what I'm doing, as slow as possible. Next, let's actually feel what German hang feels like. Do a inverted hang and roll backwards, and land on your feet. Repeat few times to get used to this position. Once you get good at all the previous exercises, you're finally ready to perform the real German hang. Tuck your knees and perform the tuck German hang. Once you get good at that, perform extended German hang like so. To improve your German hang, I like to do the following exercise. From inverted hang, go into a German hang and pull yourself up. Repeat few times. When I hold the German hang, I like to hold for at least 20 seconds to feel stretch on my shoulders. And when I do the German hang pulls, I like to do 5 sets of 5 reps. The last exercise is another fun way to play with the German hang. And that's it for today's video. Have fun, let me know if you have any questions, and see you next time. Peace!